Christ died for all, for those who live might not continue to live for themselves. He died for them and was raised from the dead so that they would live for him. 1 John 3.16 says he loved. So as his followers, influenced by him, encouraged by him, and inspired by him, we need to love. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. Jesus said, those who know my commands and obey them are the ones. And my Father will love those who love me. I will love them and will show myself to them. Love begets love. What's it like to love? Well, you always think of the other person. You consider their needs. If there was a biography written on them with all of their philosophies, you'd want to read it. If they said, here's my diary, it's got all my inner thoughts, do you want to read it? You'd say, you bet I do. You might dedicate your life to serving them. I see this every day in my, my day job. I'm, I work for hospice. And every day I deal with people that are serving their loved ones. You, you see husbands serving wives, wives serving husbands, children serving their parents, friends serving friends. And you know, when you're standing up there getting married <laughs> and you say for better or worse, sickness and in health till death do you part, nobody, nobody's thinking that it's going to be the, this much sickness. Nobody's thinking it's going to get to this level of worse. But people stick with it and they hang in there and they feed their spouse and they wipe their spouse and they turn their spouse. They watch after their loved one. That's love. Look, if you like somebody, you can respect, admire them, think they're cool, enjoy their company on occasion, but when your heart goes to the point where you fall in love with them, it's a whole new level. Respect and admiration can be done from a distance, but love is close up and intimate. And Jesus said, I love you by being close up and intimate with us. He ate and drank with those that nobody else would. The sick, uh, the shunned, the poor, the widows, the orphans, the tax collectors. Jesus lived his life for a purpose, and that was to serve everyone. And he brought hope to all those who would follow him, and he calls us to do the same.